Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to show you a trick that is in any card and any number. Um, and then when the trick is done, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial and I'm going to show you an alternative handling, which would be impromptu that you could do as well. All right. So we're going to have the spectator cut off approximately a third of the cards and then maybe half of what's left. And then we're just going to collect those up. Okay. Now, in addition to the deck, we're also going to use an imaginary deck. So I'm going to shuffle up these imaginary cards. And as I deal the cards out, I'm going to call them off like Queen of Hearts, um, Ace of Spades. Here's a Joker. We'll take the Jokers out. I don't like the Jokers. But as I deal through the cards, I want you to just say stop on any card that you would like. Okay. So we've got the uh, Nine of Diamonds. Here's the Queen of Clubs. Got the Two of Hearts. This is the Two of Clubs. You want to stop right there? The Two of Clubs? That's the card you want to stop on? Okay. You can have any card. It's completely up to you. Now, continuing on with our imagination, I want you to pretend that this deck is a number line. Okay? And over here is number one, and it goes all the way over to number 20. All right? As my finger goes across the number line, whenever you want, just say stop. Let's say they say stop right there. Okay. So... Where do you think we are on the number line? If this is 20 and this is one, where do you think we're at? And let's say the spectator says we're at 15. 15, that's a completely free choice, okay? Now, would you take those cards and square those up for me? They're gonna square up the deck. And now, we're gonna count down to your number. You said 15, let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, this is 15. What's the name of the card that you selected again? Um, you selected the Two of Clubs. There it is. And that is any card at any number. Okay? Now, how does this one work? This is going to use your memorized deck. All right, so let's get our deck back into our order. We've got the cards here. We are now in 1 to 52 in our order. You're going to have the spectator cut off about a third half of what's left, I actually cut to the same card. And in this case, as they stack them up, this is my key card. So the 10 of spades in the stack that I use is the 18th card in my stack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add 20 to 18. That's gonna get me to 38. So now as I deal through the imaginary cards, after I deal a couple that I know are not gonna appear, like I'll say the queen of hearts, the ace of spades, the joker, I'll do that little gambit, and then I'm going to start with card 38, which is 20 cards ahead of the uh, 10 of spades. So I'll say the 38th card in my stack is the nine of diamonds. Then I'm just going to keep going. Queen of clubs, 37. Two of hearts at 36. Two of clubs at 35. In this example, they stop there, but you could keep going. Five of hearts, eight of spades. Doesn't matter. They can just say stop. No, most people are going to stop around three, four, or five cards in, okay? Now, here's what you're gonna do. You now take the deck, dribble it out, and you're gonna talk about this imaginary number line that goes from one to 20. So in our example, it was the two of clubs, which I know the two of clubs in my stack sits at position 35. My key card here was the 10 of spades, which I know is at 18. So I take 35 and I subtract 18 from it, and that gives me the number um, 17. So 17 is my force number. I'm trying to get them to stop me somewhere over here where they might name number 17. Okay. Um, so the way to do that is as your finger starts to go across the deck, remember it goes from one to 20. I don't even mention the word stop until I get to like seven or eight on my number line. So that way they can't choose one through six, right? So I say, as my finger goes across the number line, just say stop. I've now passed halfway. They're going to say stop somewhere in here every time. It's like a self-working trick. If they know 10 is in the middle, they're going to probably say 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, somewhere in there. All right. In this example that I did, they said number 15. Well, I know that my card, the card you selected is at 17. So I have to remove two cards from the top and get them to the bottom. So the way I do this is I just, I count two cards. I'm going to put my thumb on the third card as I scoop up the deck. So my thumb goes on to the third card, which makes it easy for me to grab these two and just move them to the bottom. As I say, would you square those up for me? 
So now I just openly move two cards. It's now at the 15th position, okay? If they were to say, um, let's say they said 13 and you had to move four cards, that's fine. Just I count four cards as you scoop up, move those to the bottom and say, would you square those up for me? If the, in the, let's say, let's say they name a number that's higher. So let's say they go past your hit mark of 17 and they stop over here and I say, where do you think we're at? And they say 19. If they say 19, you're just going to leave two cards on the table. So you'll reach down, pick up the deck, act like you forgot two, and just pick them up and say, Would you square those up for me, please? And now you've positioned it to 19. Okay, very simple trick. I hope you get the idea. Now, let me give you a way you could do the trick impromptu from a shuffle deck in use. Okay, so the way I would do it, um, I like to work with reverse breather cards. So I get my reverse breather on the bottom. And then you're going to want to put 16 cards below it. There's eight. Eight. Okay. So I would do it like this. I say, look, I'm just going to drop cards to the table whenever you want. Just say stop. They say stop. You can have any card on the table. So let's just say they pick this one. It's the two of hearts. Okay. We're going to lose your two of hearts down in the deck. And if you would go ahead and give those a cut. So now they're going to cut the deck and they can cut as many times as they want. Okay. When you get the deck back, you're just gonna check and see if they cut to your breather. If they didn't, then you cut to your breather yourself. So now the breather's on the bottom. I now know their card is 17 from the top because I put 16 cards below the breather. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's the 16 cards that I put on top of their two of hearts, okay? So now you're in position to do that same forcing technique where you're gonna try to force the number 17 using the idea with the number line. Everything else is still the same. Now, if you get a hit, right, and they say 17, I would leave the cards the way they are. I wouldn't square them up, and I would just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's the 17th card. What was the name of your card? And then they'll say the two of hearts, okay? This is the imaginary can or number line. Um, I think it's a pretty cool idea, so... I hope you guys can use that, play around with it, um, make some improvements. And uh, yeah, hope you guys liked it. Till next time, take care.